Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's doing good. So earlier I made a video talking about one of the two major issues that is happening within the WWE this week. You can watch it somewhere here. I'm not sure where it's going to be. <laughs> um, now on to the next one, which is even bigger. So I was going to talk about this last night, but then I heard that Mr. McMahon was going to be on SmackDown to address this. So... I did not talk about it, so I was like, I'm gonna put that on hold until I see what he has to say. And yeah, I was forced to watch SmackDown. Because <laughs> I have not watched WWE since after Backlash, I've repeated this many times. So I have not, I have literally no idea what's going on in WWE right now, apart from NXT UK. So when I heard this news um, about Vince McMahon, now he is being investigated by the WWE. Or allegedly having an affair, I heard it was a sexual relationship too, with an employee, and then he kind of like um, paid her three million to like you know to keep quiet about it. I think that was the case, and then John Laurinaitis was also involved in this relationship. I think that was, but I heard that he was involved in this, but I'm not really sure if he was also in that relationship or what, bro. I was shocked to hear this. Like, was this pretty recently or a long time ago? Because, bro, Vince, what are you doing, bro? Because you're in your 70s. Like, this is what you're doing in your 70s, dude? Because, like, aren't you supposed to, I don't know, take care of your grandkids or something? Like, like, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was generally shocked to hear this. I'm like, Vince McMahon had this... Because, like, look, I've heard rumors that Vince McMahon had this, um, uh, you know, these kind of issues back in the day. But I'm not really sure how much of that is true. But if that is true, then I won't say that I'm shocked that this is happening. But actually, I am shocked because I didn't really... <laughs> I didn't really expect this to even happen, to be honest. Especially John Laurinaitis is also involved in this. Isn't he technically Nikki Bella's stepdad? Like, bro, that family is going to be, like, in fire, too, knowing that John Laurinaitis is doing this shit. But, I, I, I'm speechless, to be honest. So because of that, um, Vince McMahon is now voluntarily stepping down as chairman and CEO of the company. Now look, if you have watched my previous videos like about WWE, I've said it numerous times that I want Kid Vince to basically retire as chairman and then pass it to someone else. But what I did not want is to for him to basically step down like this. Because what I wanted is for him to basically retire and then pass it on to someone else, to Shane or Triple H or somebody. But I didn't really expect him to step down on this kind of circumstances literally because th if this is how he's gonna go down step down as ceo i don't think i want it because i would rather him like step down retire like probably he will never retire but <laughs> but i would rather you know him go down like this because if he like, you know, it would kind of, like, tarnish his name, you could say, you know, to basically step down based on allegations like this. And then if it ends, ends up being true, like, that would be an even bigger issue, right? So, I would say this was not never, never the um, circumstance that I actually saw Vince McMahon to step down. And now, Stephanie McMahon is going to take over as interim uh, chairman and a uh, chairwoman and also CEO. Even in this situation, Shane gets no love. Shane gets nothing. So Stephanie McMahon is our new boss. Temporarily, you know, interim chairwoman. So probably later on they're going to uh, appoint someone else. Or maybe it's going to be permanently her. Or she's just technically holding this position until his allegations gets cleared or something. You know, maybe if he, you know, um, it's confirmed that all of, the, all of them are false, probably he would go back to that uh position i'm not really sure and i heard that recently stephanie just took a leave of absence and then now she has to come back and, and be chairwoman so um I, I, I don't really know what to say but this kind of sucks that 
WWE is going through this. Because, like, look, I, like I said, I wanted Vince to step down, but not like this. But I hope, even if it's true, I hope, you know, Vince doesn't come back as chairman. Because, look, I'm happy with what Vince McMahon has done because... He created this company that all of us like, like it, like him or not like him. He is the reason why we have WWE. Well, no, actually, not his father created WWE, but he made it way more popular today, right? So he's the reason why um, WWE is so popular because I keep saying he's the reason why we have WWE <laughs> because his father is the one that created the company, so he's the one that you could say made it popular. So, like, you know, like him or not like him, you have to, you know, appreciate him for that. So, but I would say right now, Vince McMahon is, you know, not it anymore because his ideas are not really that great. Look at NXT, he turned that into a dumpster fire. Raw and SmackDown, not really that interesting anymore with all of this, you know, weird-ass unnecessary stuff happening, bad booking and everything, bad matches. So... I obviously think just keep Stephanie as chairwoman, you know, have Shane come back, have Triple H involved with creative because look at what Triple H did with NXT. If he can do that with NXT, imagine what he can do with Raw and SmackDown and the caliber of talent that, you know, WWE has on Raw and SmackDown. Imagine what Triple H could do with all of these guys, Triple H and Sean. Imagine what they could do with these guys. Imagine that. So I hope that even if it's true, I I just hope Vince retires from there. Just let Shane, Stephanie, and Triple H take over because I feel like these three could actually make the company better, especially with Shane and uh, and Triple H, you know, especially Triple H, because <laughs> because literally everyone wants Triple H to be in charge because he know what he's doing. Look at NXT once again. I'll repeat it. He made NXT like they're basically you know the, like the peak wrestling for the last like five years until it was destroyed last year so i hope you know he retires you know, I- i'm thankful for everything that he did for wwe and you know make it as popular as it is but right now his ideas mostly don't work anymore so you know i hope things turn out for the better with this all of these allegations happening you know i'm not really Like, there are some people even, like, laughing about the situation and everything, making jokes about it, but I don't think it's that funny, to be honest. You know, although I'm a bit shocked that this actually happened, but I don't really see this as, like, a laughing matter. You know, you don't really know what's going on with your families and everything. Also, like I said, John Laurinaitis is involved, though. Look at, you know, his family and then the McMahon family. You don't know what's going on there. So, for them, this is a pretty serious issue, and then we're just making a laugh out of this. You know, I don't think it's right to do that. So, just hope things turn out for the better. But I hope if when he turns, um, he is proven to be innocent. I hope that he permanently retires. You know, probably give him some kind of I don't know ceremony or something. I don't know what they're gonna do. But I hope that happens. He retires. Triple H, Shane, Steph takes over the company, make it better as it is. That's my wish for the company going on. Also, yeah, I wanted to talk about this. I'm not really sure if this is true or not, but, like, some people are saying stuff, like, um, about Nick Khan. So, look, I have no idea when Nick Khan even came to the company, because I only know, like, talent stuff. Which talent comes in, which talent leaves. I don't really know about all the corporate people. So... I have no idea when he kind of joined the company, but I've heard of him like last year and stuff. And people say that he's a bad choice. And well, I'm pretty sure he is because look at how WWE has went. <laughs> so there are people who are saying like Nick Khan might be the reason all this is happening because they're saying like since he's joined, Shane McMahon is booted out of the company. Uh, NXT has been taken away from Triple H, and then all of a sudden Stephanie takes a uh, leave of absence. And then now, this thing with Vince McMahon, and then people are saying, like, this might be Nick Khan's doing. Because ever since he came back, the McMahon family, one by one, is, you know, just something is happening to them. You know, either they're, you know, um, booted out of the company, or, you know, they have something taken away from them. Like, all, all of this is happening, and people are assuming that this might be because of Nick Khan, he, this might be his doing. 
but I don't know. It's time for me to say, you know, because I don't really know. I don't really know, like, when he even joined the company. But I know he's there, like, pretty recently, like, last year or stuff. I don't really know when he actually, like, joined the company. But seeing how WWE is terrible, I'm pretty sure, I don't think having him in the company is actually a great thing. But I don't know, it might make sense, too. Like, since he's joined, everything has gone, like, backwards for the McMahon family, you know. Like I said, NXT taken away from Triple H. Um... Stephanie taking a leave of absence, Shane getting fired, now this with Vince, so I won't be surprised if it is real, but I just hope, you know, Shane and Stephanie and Triple H has take control of their father and father-in-law's company, you know, save his name and stuff. Like, if it's true that Nikon is doing this, you know, but I, I can't, I, it's not for me to say. So, so, yeah, that's just what I wanted to say about this issue. Hope everything turns out better for the McMahon family and everything, everybody involved in this. I hope it's not true. And I hope that he retires and, <laughs> and you know, that those three people make WWE great again and, you know, change everything for the better. And, but well, I can't really promise that, like, I'm going to watch um, WWE after this because I heard that Vince McMahon is still going to be involved creatively so not really sure things are going to change and nick Khan is still here bruce pritchard is still here so i don't think things are going to change pretty soon so also yeah the thing with kevin dunn too i, I heard that like i don't know i feel like all those people who are making it bad is kind of like going through shit except for nick Khan and bruce pritchard they're just there i, I hope they get booted out of the company like the others also yeah um today's smackdown what what was that? I watched SmackDown specifically to hear what Vince McMahon said. And thank you very much for making that the opening segment because I did not want to watch the whole show. <laughs> so y'all wasted my five minutes, five or ten minutes, because all Vince did come out was say, was say like, what, 20 words? And ended it with, then, now, forever, together. Welcome to a Friday Night SmackDown. And then he just walks off. Seriously, that might have been the one of the cheapest, like, you know, rating boost or whatever you could call it. Because obviously when, you know, with all of this things going on and then, um, uh, you know, all of a sudden Vince McMahon is going to be on SmackDown. Obviously people are going to watch, okay, he's going to say something about this or he's going to address something. Maybe he's going to say who's going to take over or, you know, you expected something like that. But all he came out was literally nothing. So I feel like that was just a cheap stunt to, you know, get ratings. <laughs> because like like I said, you know, obviously people would want to watch it to see what he says, but then it ended up being literally nothing. So I feel like that was just a cheap stunt to get ratings. I don't know, maybe was it what he wanted to do or maybe what the, you know the WWE people uh wanted to make him do, but I'm not really sure. So yeah, that is all what I wanted to say about this issue. I've been talking for pretty long, so I hope everything turns out for the better for the McMahon family. I hope, you know, I don't know if it, I'll watch the company, I mean, WWE when I, I don't know, see when things get better. Maybe if Triple H gets more involved now that, you know, Stephanie is chairwoman, then I'll consider watching it. That's when I will consider watching it. Right now, I won't promise that. Just because Vince is out, I'm going to watch it because there are still other people in there. Nick Khan, Bruce Prichard, you know, these kind of guys are still here. So I don't think it would improve. But yeah. So, yeah, anyways, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, what I have to say about this issue. So I've spoken about both major issues happening within the WWE. Um, so like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Um, see you next time. Everyone stay safe. Take care. Goodbye.